uh, it's a psychological thriller, and it's called Sympathy for the Devil. And it will hit theaters in July. So be looking for a trailer or something for that to come out. Oh, that's cool. We'll probably get definitely watch and review that one. Um, Spirit Halloween has revealed a new line of what they call horror babies. Um, and they have Leatherface, Ghostface, Sam from Trick or Treat, and Pennywise. These are infant versions of, like, horror babies or whatever. <laughs> so, we're talking, like, Muppet babies, but horror? Um, no, they have pictures of them online. I've seen what they look like. They're not, like, Muppet babies. They're more, like... Uh, I don't know. It might be. I want a Bubba Muppet baby, god damn it. <laughs> it might be like a Muppet baby. <laughs> they're basically, they're babies. They're infant versions of the all the icons I just mentioned. You better have a fucking meat cleaver. Well, I'm sure they will, so. Um, well. Collect them all. A new documentary about the film and TV adaptations of Stephen King's novels and stories will be, supposedly be hitting theaters in August, and it's called King on Screen. Okay, that's that's a new one. I haven't heard about that. Yeah, apparently it's just going to uh, talk about all the adaptations of you know, all of his novels and the stories that has been turned into films and television shows from over the years. I wonder if he's going to talk about how much he hates The Shining. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure he will. Because he hated Jack Nicholson's performance. Well, he hated the whole thing, yeah, which is funny know. because uh, you talk to any horror fan, and most of them will tell you that The Shining is one of the greatest horror movies ever made. Sorry, Stephen King. Listen, let's, let me go on a little tirade here for a minute. Okie dokie. I love Stephen King. Same. He's wrong about The Shining. Absolutely. And you can say, well, the, the book is better. I suck a dick. Don't care. Fucking read the, the book if you want to. Okay? Read the book. Read the goddamn book. We talk about movies here. Okay? We talk about movies. Read the goddamn book if you think the book's better. The movie is great. Okay, of course, that, that's just my opinion. But here's how I know that Stephen King is wrong. Because in 1997, he was behind and was producing a show, a miniseries called The Shining. And it was like, you know, a two-part thing, as most Stephen King projects are. And it was to counter... Stanley Kubrick's 1980 movie version. And it was okay, but compared to the movie, it sucked dick. It sucked dick. What kind of dick? Big all dick. dick. All dick? All dick. It sucked all dick compared. Spotted dick. So don't tell me that Stephen King... Listen, Stephen King is the king of novels. Nobody has ever ever accused Stephen King of being in the film business. He doesn't know a goddamn thing about the business. That one movie he did direct, he was fucking high the whole time he did it. <laughs> okay? And he is an expert writer. He is an expert novelist. That's his expertise. Okay? He needs to fuck off. When it comes to movies. Okay? He, he really does. And uh, because there is a lot of movies. That like adaptations of his stories. That are pure shit. They, they're fucking horrible. The CGI is shit. Yeah. The story is shit. Speaking of that. The director. Rob Savage. Of the new Boogeyman who was written by Stephen King, guess what he wants to remake? The same goddamn movie I told you he should remake. The Langoliers. No shit. He we wants were to just remake, talking about this. He wants to remake that. Now, The Langoliers is a perfect example of a Stephen King adaptation that 
The story was great. The actors was good. Everything else sucked dick. It was the visual aspects were a victim of the time. Well, I don't believe that because there's a lot of other films that came out during that time that used special effects that didn't look like that horse shit. Okay? Mm, good point. Don't... Ugh. The fucking thing, the, liquid knit Windows 98 fucking things running in the air. It's yeah, fucking it's, stupid. It's fucking bad. It like, was really bad. Like, we're talking like Spawn bad. But like I said, I love Stephen King and everything, but he's... Dude, I think over time he knows that Stanley Kubrick made a badass movie, but he's been sticking to the story for so long he can't change his tune. And uh, he knows there's been some television adaptations of his stories that haven't been always been that great. Right. And, you know, that's just the way it is. And uh, he can hate it all he wants to. The Shining happens to be my favorite horror movie of all time. And uh, I'm perfectly fine with it. And I'm perfectly fine with Stephen King not liking it. We have it. Stephen King got his shot at doing it for film purposes. And... <laughs> Pass. Fail. I mean, obviously, you know I'm a Shining fan. I have a tattoo of Jack. Yeah. I mean, I've got red rum. So, I mean... Obviously, it's not the one that was on. What? Wh where did that fucking miniseries fucking debut on? I don't know. It was on like syndication though. It was probably either the Sci-Fi Channel, maybe USA Network. I feel like yeah, I feel like that was more of a USA Network type thing. Something like that. I know that I own it. Yeah, because I own everything Stephen King. And and trust me, even though a lot of this stuff sucks and stinks, I still own it and purchase it because that's, that's just, just who I we, am. Yeah, that's just what we do. We, well, there's some things we refuse to buy if we can possibly help it, like the 2009 fucking remake to Nightmare on Elm Street. It was 2010. 10, excuse me. And I do own it because... It came in a three-pack with the remake to the 2009 Friday the 13th and Freddy vs. Jason. It was a three-pack. Yeah, That's but, why I got it. Yeah, but you wouldn't buy it individually. No, 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 no. I it's wouldn't buy like, it individually. Oh, I need this for my collection. No, I, no, if no, I no. did buy it individually, I would buy it on DVD for like five bucks in the $5 bin at Walmart. I wouldn't even pay that much. It'd have to be like a dollar. Dollar Tree Ben. Well, you know. Um, I got a little bit of news. Um, there is a official sneak peek image of David Gordon Green on the set of Exorcist, The Believer. Yeah, I read that too. It's just him kneeling and yeah. it's dark. and Yeah, that's why I didn't write it down because I looked at the image and I'm like, <laughs> this, this is nothing. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 not... We, we've we already reported it on a uh, couple of episodes back that the test audience are not happy with yeah. this new exorcist. And uh, the quote was, it's not scary. And that is the last thing you want your audience to say if you're making a horror movie, especially if it's the goddamn exorcist. Yeah. So, you know, in this day and age, trust me, We've seen some fucking pussies at the theater that will scream at anything. And if those pussies aren't getting scared, come on, man. Yeah, something's wrong. Uh, pussies. Pussies. Uh, wrong turn creator Alan B. hopes to make two more sequels to the 2021 reboot. What are your thoughts? My thoughts is that there is no 2021 reboot. There is absolutely no reboot. <laughs> that movie was nothing, nothing like Wrong Turn at all. No, it wasn't. Not not even fucked up, cr fucked up like people that living in the woods. You know what I mean? It was yeah. nothing. It it was it was in title alone. 
that was in title alone. And it wasn't a bad movie. I, we, I, I went on a tirade about this. And the fact of the matter is this. They did not believe that they had made a good movie. So they slapped on the wrong t- turn title to it to get people's attentions. Yeah. Instead of taking a fucking chance and said, hey, I swear to God, I swear to God, if they would have released this movie under a different title, nobody under the sun would go, you know what this movie reminds me of? Wrong turn. Nobody would have said that. No. But since they were goddamn pusses, which seems to be the word of the day, I don't like them. Fuck them. You don't want no more sequels to that movie? No, because the movie wasn't bad. The movie will not bad. I, I'm just offended at, at their marketing abilities. Yeah, they uh, they took the slimy way out, honestly. They didn't even, they didn't, e- it's a cult. That's all it is. It's a cult of normal looking people supposedly living in the woods. Yeah. Like, how do you think that's more affected? effective than fucked up people, you know, living in the woods. It's not. It's not. It fucking no. blows my ass hair. Fuck them. Yeah, I'm not a, I, I'm not a fan of using the uh, title. No. It pretty much did what Velma did. Yeah. It, they used their own, they used something that was already successful as a point to get their narrative over. But the point is, the, um, uh, the rest of the wrong turn movies, they might have reached B movie level, but I would have, I would rather that continue because those movies are actually fun. As bad as they are, they're fucking fun. Yeah, they're bad fun. They're bad fun, and I would rather have more of them than to have this movie. Uh, don't get me wrong, this movie was a good movie. It just it bugs me to no end that we're supposed to believe this is a wrong turn movie. Yeah. Which is not. Uh, the new Bird Box uh, trailer's out. It's a spinoff of the 2018 hit starring Sandra Bullock. And apparently the part two occurs at the exact same time as the first one. Probably a different part of the world, I guess, or yeah. a different part of the country. Will Sandra Bullock play in this, or this will this be a new cast? I think it's a new cast. Well, that's fine. That's fine. I didn't mind Bird Box. I thought I thought it was a unique movie, you know, having one of these things, you know. It's always, you know, you got to be quiet. Don't make any noise to attract something, kind of like The Quiet Place. But in this one, you had to actually, you know, keep your eyes covered. If you kept your eyes covered, they wouldn't fucking attack you, which is weird, but unique. Yeah, it's different. It's different. It's like, it hey. It a bad movie. No, it's kind of like the, the the Blair Witch, you know, the witch will only get you if you look at her. Yeah, kind of like Medusa. Yeah. You know, you can only be turned to stone. And... I don't mind it. I, I, I like the first part, Bird Box. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's just going straight to Netflix. Um, it yeah. Doesn't, it doesn't say. Uh, the final Insidious trailer is out now, which I'm pretty sure is the one we saw in theaters. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's going to be the, uh, you know, the accumulation of all the films put together. And this is supposedly the last chapter. Supp- allegedly. 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 Let's go climb a tree. Um, I'm a little white girl. Talk to me uh, has a new trailer out, the second trailer, which is kind of uh, the concept of uh, monkey paw. You know, the hand thing. Like, it takes possession it, yeah, um, and grants, like, wishes. I think that's how it goes. I can't remember. I got to watch Talk to Me. I For some reason, I remember watching the trailer to uh, Talk to Me and thinking Monkey Paw. Yeah. Um, could, my, my what it could be. My could be. Could have, would have, should have. Saw X has a new poster out. Hot bam. It's just a decapitated arm. Of course it is. Of course. They're going to go with the uh, the decapitated concept, you know, as usual. Uh, that seems to be pretty much all their posters has, like, some form yeah. of, like, 
fingers, toes. Shut up, bitch. Give me a tippy.